Uh, I'm Dan Gardner with View Plus, and we're missing seeing you all this year, so we decided to contribute uh, with uh, this virtual trade show format. We've been trying to do this with our own webinars, and hopefully maybe you've seen one of our introductory webinars uh, or some uh, specifics on our Tiger software suite. But if you miss those, those are available on our YouTube channel. So go to View Plus Technologies and find us on YouTube. We're here with our COVID hairdos and uh, waiting as parts of parts of the United States are trying to open up. We're getting lucky that we're that here in Oregon, we have lots of space, so the social distancing hasn't been too bad. And we're going to show you some clips since you don't usually come get to visit us and we can't usually bring Oregon with us to the shows. We're going to show you some clips of our uh, manufacturing area since we make all of the printers here in the United States in Corvallis, Oregon, as well as the motif that we like for our backdrop of the mountain is from Mary's Peak, which is right out the door. So we'll get show you some footage of that as well so that you can see what a great place that we get to work in every day. After this brief introduction to Company View Plus and its facility in the U.S., let me introduce myself. My name is Rebecca and I work for company View Plus in Europe together with my colleagues Gabi and Christian. View Plus has been participating in person with great joy at many editions of Reha in Poland. We have many wonderful memories, not only personally, such as the wonderful day at Laski Institute for the Blind, but also in the form of little gifts and funny pictures, which reminds us about the uniqueness of this event. Especially the dinner of Polish dishes hosted by Mr. Marek Kowalczyk will be greatly missed by our taste buds this year, but maybe less so by our arteries. This year will be the first year that we participate virtually and not in person. We were very excited to learn that Chance for the Blind Foundation will not let the current status of the world and the threats COVID-19 brings with it put a shadow or even postpone this event, but rather that the challenges of these situations were embraced and a fitting solution was found. We are very thankful to be invited to be part of this newly found way of continuing to bring news and important information to the participants, spectators, and listeners around the world. We decided to put together a presentation which connects with this year's slogan, education and activity as your chance. Only by embracing a chance or an opportunity will you really know what the outcome can be. Our founder, John Gardner, decided to bring opportunity to the none or less visual by inventing equipment which could do exactly so. An example will now follow. We hope that you find it interesting and don't hesitate to reach out to our Polish representatives or to ourselves to learn more. Thank you. Now let's jump into the main part of our presentation. As you may know, ViewPlus's core business is in embossers for Braille and high-definition tactile graphics. Today, I would like to introduce another product from ViewPlus, the Iveo Hands-On Learning System. Iveo makes graphical information accessible through audio labels, activated by touch, when reading the tactile document. Iveo includes two parts, content creation and reading of the audio tactile documents. Therefore, we offer different Iveo packages depending on the functionality required by the user. Iveo Author Pro software is for content creation and Iveo Player software with Iveo Touchpad for audio tactile response when reading or exploring documents. When a picture is worth a thousand words or many pages of Braille, 
graphical information can be made accessible quickly by using Iveo Author Pro tools. I will show some examples in this presentation using a map of Poland. I hope you can envision how this includes many different types of graphics and technical documents from maps to charts and graphs. In this first video, we are showing how a typical blind user might explore a map of Poland. Map of Poland. This is a map of Poland showing political regions and their capital cities. Holy Cross. Holy Cross, Masovian, Warsaw, capital of Masovian Voivodeship and capital of Poland, Greater Poland, Greater Poland, Greater Poland, Poznan, Katowice, Lesser Poland, Krakow, Masovian. This is a map of Poland showing political regions and their capital cities. In this second video, we are showing how to create the audio tactile graphic demonstrated in the previous video. One of the Iveo authoring tools is Iveo Transformer Pro, an intuitive application with step-by-step -step guidance to transform a graphic from standard image formats to an audio tactile graphic in SVG format. Let's see how it's done now. An audio tactile graphic, like seen in the previous video, can easily be done in Iveo Transformer Pro software. When starting Iveo Transformer Pro, on the home screen, select whether to start with a new image or open an already existing SVG file. The list boxes will show all recently used files for easy access. A new image can be imported from file or directly from a connected scanner. Let's open the already existing polandmap.svg file from the recently used SVG files list. The file will be opened in the next window which is for the page layout setup. The whole process for creating complete audible tactile graphics in Iveo Transformer Pro is done in six steps that the program guides you through. In Page Layout, choose the required paper size and orientation for printing of the audio tactile graphic at the end. The image on the page layout can be rotated cropped, or moved in position. Stepping forward will bring the user to the Managing Annotations screen. Annotations will define areas for audio feedback when touched in playback mode by the user in Iveo Player. Some annotations already exist in this document. They are listed by title in the field at the right. When selecting an annotation, it will be highlighted in the image, like Mazovian here. When an annotation is highlighted, options are to delete it or to edit this annotation. In Annotation Editor, there is a title field and a description field. These are levels of information which are being played back when the reader touches the graphic on the touchpad. Touching the annotation area in Audio Tactile Graphic once will voice the title. Touching twice will voice the description in IVO Player. It is also possible to link the annotation to a sound file, which will be the third instance to play back. Appearance below will define appearance of the annotation area in Tactile Print. It is possible to fill each annotation area with a different tactile print pattern overwriting original image information. Save and close this annotation with the OK button. 
When wanting to add a new annotation, choose Add Annotation and select Drawing Tool for defining the outline of the annotated area. Draw freehand, rectangle, or use the magic wand. Let's use the magic wand and click once in this area around Krakow. Transformer Pro finds the whole area of Lesser Poland for Annotation Area by Outline and opens Annotation Editor. Enter information as desired for playback. Lesser Poland. Capital of Lesser Poland is Krakow. Save with OK. And notice that this new annotation was also added to the list here. This way, the whole image can be made audible region by region. The next step is to simplify the image for embosser output. Presets are available for manipulating tactile contrast on image. There is also a simple pencil drawing tool, which could be used to enhance outlines, for example. Choose the pencil color, pen radius, and one of three shape tools to draw. The pencil color in grayscale will define the height of embossed dots on output. The darker the color, the higher the tactile dots. After drawing, pencil strokes can be turned to show, and after selecting each stroke, it can be deleted again. Since this map would be best cleaned up from all text, because it would not be braille but embossed print text, and therefore rather disturbing to tactile users. The easiest method to receive a simplified image for embosser output here is to use other image from preset selection and copy and paste embosser print data from image cleanup that was done in ViewPlus Tiger Designer, a paint program for embosser prints. The next window in the process will allow Braille labels to be added to the tactile graphic. Let's just add a simple Braille title here. Use Add Braille and then click the pointer on the document somewhere to open the Braille label entry mask. Type wording for the label. Map of Poland. The translation to Braille according to Braille settings will appear simultaneously in the second line. Braille code for many languages is available, uncontracted or contracted. It will convert text typing immediately to corresponding Braille code for the label. The label can still be moved to a desired position after it has been created. The selected Braille label can also be edited again or deleted. In Window Views, which is next in the transforming process, views will be defined that can later be printed separately. The whole document is always the default view, but new views can be defined for just parts of the image. When choosing Add View, a rectangle can be drawn that conforms with the ratio of the page layout. Each view will be named. South. The content of this rectangle will be zoomed to the size of one whole page on the printer output later. Each view can be printed separately and is workable in Iveo Player on full page scale. The final step in Transformer Pro is the preview of the SVG document, showing all annotations and braille labels over original image. Entry fields here allow to give a title and a description to the document properties. The controls for further action are print, opening the print dialog to send selected view for printer output. Play in Iveo, opening Iveo Player with this document for direct playback. And save as SVG opening a file browser to save the document. Now we'll see the printing step. 
As you can see here, printing with any ViewPlus embosser is as easy as with any standard inkjet or laser printer. From Windows, Mac, and Linux, using the ViewPlus printer driver enables printing graphics from any program that supports print functionality. The free printer drivers include braille fonts so braille text can be added to any document. Tiger Software Suite, also known as TSS version 7 for Windows, supports Braille translation directly in Microsoft Word and Excel. Plus, includes Tiger Designer for tactile graphics creation and editing. TSS supports Math Braille translation in Word by integrating with the Math Type. Of course, mainstream Braille translation software like Duxbury and Braille Blaster can be used. For graphics, many users find it easiest to use graphic editing and creation tools they are most familiar with, like Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw. For tactile graphics, the printer driver does much of the hard work by taking care of the ink and tactile graphics printing. Color is represented in the tactile graphic using our seven variable dot heights automatically. The most exciting news this year is the success of our new Power Dot Braille in the Columbia 2 and Delta 2 printers. ViewPlus has always been recognized as the world leader in tactile graphics and now has the best Braille Dot. We are showing you our Iveo Audio Tactile Graphics in action here today. ViewPlus continues to be an innovator in making information accessible. By adding our Wi-Fi module, TigerBox, printing from mobile phones and tablets is possible with our existing printers. So you can add Wi-Fi network printing and mobile printing by purchasing a TigerBox. You can also try out our software by downloading it from our website and using the free 30-day demonstration period. This includes the Iveo software shown here today, plus TSS and our audio graphing calculator. You can even simulate each printer by downloading the free printer driver and setting it to print to file, as shown in a recent YouTube video. There are many new videos on our YouTube channel, showing our latest software and printer products, along with tips and tricks shown in our webinars. Iveo Creator is the original creation tool inside of Iveo Author Pro. If you want to add your own content from scratch, or just add additional features to something done in Iveo Transformer Pro, Iveo Creator is very powerful. In this video, we demonstrate how sonification works when importing from the ViewPlus Audio Graphing Calculator. Before concluding this presentation, a quick demonstration of data sonification in Iveo Creator. This is the Iveo Creator program window, showing a function plot imported from ViewPlus Accessible Graphing Calculator, AGC. Imagine this graph in tactile graphic print and a student not only being able to follow course of the function by touch, but also additionally to listen to sonification of data points, adding a new level of conception and activating multiple senses to memorize course of function graph. Let's play it. Zero point data sonification mode. Press F11 to exit. Data sonification is finished. Isn't that fun? Once you create files you are proud of, you can easily share them with others. Iveo Player is free to download from the ViewPlus website. We have many examples on our website and lots more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for attending our session here at Reha 2020.